A nice little technology tip coming to you today. We're going to have a look at how to mirror or flip images in Google Docs. This can be used for lots of creative purposes, but let's have a look at how it's done. All right, so I have a Google document open here, and I have titled it so that I can keep track of it in my Google Drive. It's called Love Art Ambigram. Okay, so we've got to get an image inserted in here. I'm going to go to Insert. I'm going to go to Image. And then you have to source the image wherever you're going to find the image that you'd like to flip. Uh, mine is stored on the local storage here, so I'm opening up the Files folder. And the image I want to use is the one right up here on top. It's called Love Art Ambigram. So I'm going to double-click that, and it will insert this into the Google Doc. There it is. Uh, when you click on the image, it gives you lots and lots of different things that you can do to this image. Uh, you can scale it larger or smaller by taking any one of the corner anchor points. You can stretch it or take it and make it smaller, warping it down by taking any one of the other anchor points, any one that's not in the corner. And then you've got this neat one up here. Uh, this one here, it, I can take and I can actually flip it upside down. So here's a little lesson on ambigrams. Ambigram is a word that can be read in lots of different ways. Uh, so here we have, looking at it here, you can see the word love, L-O-V-E. Uh, but if we take and we flip that around upside down, you'll see that it now says art, A-R-T. Neat little image that I created, uh, and I want to take and make the mirror of this image. Now, within Google Docs, there is no native way to get this done. Um, I've shown you all the things that we can do with this. We can warp it, uh, or we can make it larger or smaller, taking one of these corner anchor points, or again, we can sort of flip it upside down if we want to. But in fact, mirroring, we cannot do directly. Now, Google does offer another application. It's called Google Drawing, and you can mirror image directly in Google Drawing. But they have also inserted that into Google Docs to provide you a way to do it within a Google document. So the first thing that I'm going to do then is make sure that this picture is selected. I'm going to press Control-C to copy the image. I'm going to go back to Insert, and I want to go down to Drawing. Okay. This is going to bring up a totally separate dialog box. Um, once these buttons have activated, we know that it's ready to go. I'm going to click in the box and press Control V. That's going to copy the image in there. And now we have the same controls in here that we had before. We can scale it down or up. We can also warp it if we wanted to by doing things like this. Um, but now, new inside of Google Drawing, I can actually mirror the image. So here's what we're going to start with. On the left-hand side, I'm going to take that anchor point, and I'm going to drag it almost all the way across to right there. Then I'm going to take the right anchor point and drag it past all the way back. And now you can notice that the image is, in fact, been reversed. That was it. We've got that mirrored. I'm going to click Save and Close, and I'm going to put that back into the Google document. Now, just to double check so you can see it both ways, I'm going to paste the original one in. There's Art, read the correct way, and then here we have it with the mirrored image. And that's it. Just a couple of quick and easy steps to get your images mirrored inside of a Google document. Thanks.